If you hit the road this Memorial Day weekend, you probably notice the pain at the pump has eased a bit. Allison Kosick explains why the price of gas seems to be on the decline. Gas prices have been moving lower, and they most likely will move even lower than where they are now, but not by much. Because what happens after Memorial Day is refineries switch to a summer blend of gas. It's cleaner, but it's more expensive to produce. Still, with the national average for a gallon of gas sitting at $3.64, it is still 30 cents lower than where we were a year ago. All right, so why are we seeing gas prices lower? Well, part of it is because tensions with Iran have eased. You'll remember early last year, Iran was threatening to close the Strait of Hormuz. That's, that's a main supply route for 20% of the world's oil. Also, supplies are more plentiful. Oil and gas supplies are actually at their highest levels since 1990. And finally, the third reason you're seeing gas prices lower is because of the economy. Here in the U.S., you're seeing the momentum for the jobs recovery slow down. Also, GDP, economic growth here in the U.S., is also expected to slow down as well. And it's not just here in the U.S., overseas. Uh, in Europe, uh, at least 12 countries in, in Europe are falling into a recession. So what you see is a trade-off, lower gas prices for weaker economies. I'm Allison Kosick in New York. Well, the good news is the threat for severe weather has ended. The thunderstorms are moving out on live Doppler 6000 radio.